Good afternoon, good afternoon, guys. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we're on our way to Popeye's. Well, we're actually here now. We're about to try, finally try again, the ghost pepper wings. There's Lee, say hey, baby. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, what up, what it do? But um, we're at the newer one again. Hopefully they have it, and hopefully we can do this review today. Like we're gonna see. They ain't got no signs of a window. They don't? Okay, y'all, we pulling in. Hopefully, what's that right here? That's it right okay, there, right? That's it. Okay, so here's the sign. We're going in? No, no, I just, I thought this was dropping. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. That's not over there? Oh, oh there's a separation. Oh, okay, okay. So we're gonna go in. So y'all remember last time how when we came, what? Fancy, they got a car charger. Oh, right oh yeah. When we came, they had them, but they were just horrible. So hopefully this time it's better. So guys, they didn't have them. They never have them. No matter how many times, how many different months. Well, I this come. one did one time. So we're going to either oh, rest try somewhere else. If the title of the video is different, it's because we went somewhere else. But we'll see. You'll see when we come back. Okay, so Lee found another one. And we called and verified. We were so, like, it's very shocking that they pick up the phone. They never mm -hmm. answer their phone. So they said that they have them. So I guess we're doing the Popeyes video. They better have them. If not, we wasted 16 additional minutes of our life. <laughs> okay, so this Popeyes is empty. Y'all, I hope ain't nothing wrong with it. Lord Jesus, let it be good. What you say now? What you do now? T and Lee, and we back with the crew now. Crab shrimp, and you know we review now. Cooking up all this real nice food now. What you said now? What you need now? Look on green screen HD now. Go ahead and subscribe, join the family. T and Lee is the place to be. Hola, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're finally doing the Popeye's ghost pepper wings. A lot of hunting, a lot of searching for these things. A lot of hunting, a lot of searching. Almost lost. Them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. So, as y'all see in the beginning, the first Popeyes we went to did not have it. So, we had to go to another one. We called, checked, they had them. Sorry. Can you give me the, um, I think, so they have a six and eight piece. Because she asked me. What we get? The napkins. I'm sorry. She asked if we want the six piece. And I'm just like, well, what else do they come in? I don't know. I don't really know what they come in. Shoot. This is six piece and six piece price. You don't want no <laughs> other price. It wasn't bad. It was like, what? $8 some change plus well, tax. Popeye's wing? You know how small a Popeye's wing is? I, I do, but it's because you know we're paying for the name and stuff. All that kind well, of stuff. Well, for that price, Lee. <laughs> we're just doing stuff. it for the video, so shout out uh, to everyone that is supporting this video. Please share, like, comment, share it out so it can be worth our while. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Yes, and then plus also we have a topic. So shout out to, I'm going to say your name here y'all saw the topic because i'm going to put it in the title of the video what, what's that oh it stinks it's, yeah. uh, it's a little uh it, it won't stink it's just a lot of alcohol going up my nose so shout out to i hope i'm saying it right is Tasha. shout out to you for today's topic she dm'd us on instagram and i told y'all if y'all want us to do a topic to reach out to us on instagram let us know so we can yeah. do it but it's on as you see the title on marriage so yeah, but first we're gonna get into these wings and things. Hold on, let me open it up. Oh, and I also got a strawberry biscuit as well. Oh yeah, she so does. yeah, I got French fries. You wanted to go again? I want to try one. it again. These wings are pretty small. That look, look at this. Why am I got black thing on it? <laughs> blood. But they look so much better than that other one. You remember how they looked at the other place? You said it's so black. You remember it was black. Black. They were black. The, yeah. Yes, they were black. So I don't I said, know. I said supposed to be with them. Yeah, you remember you was just like I was like no they're black. You said they're not supposed. Oh to yeah, yeah, accident. Yeah. Okay, let's have grace. Okay. Lord, we'd like to thank you for this food. We'd like to thank you that we was able to find this food. And the reason why the time and the reason why the distance, <laughs> Lord. Lord, that no harm should come through this food. That this food should be nutritious to our body as much as it can be. And our Lord in Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Okay, y'all. So I did get sweet heat and I got ranch, but I am going to taste it the way it is because, of course, we want to see what the heat level is got like. Some fries. Yes. And then, D, what you got to drink? I got me a old one hot moment. He got a fruit punch and I got a Dr. Pepper. Yeah, no, I got a old fruity punch and they give you a large size cup. Mm -hmm. Did she give us a receipt? No, she didn't. You know yeah. why? You know why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Upsize everything. Don't give them a receipt. They ain't gonna question it. We normally get one. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm normally going to the one next to the house. We came um, out a little distance. Somebody said in the last video they want to see the food, so 
Y'all, we be listening. We be listening. I got it up on my little tray today, so. I'm listening. Let me do this. Can I do this? So get out of my way. That, that, I listen. That probably bigger win I seen from them. Yeah, look. See, I got the food showing. Then they came back with the ooh up. What's the ooh up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not very big. I already knew that. And sorry if you hear the air, y'all. It's hot outside. So out of the six, for the price they give you, <laughs> they should not have asserted this little fella. Bite size. Can I have some jelly? Mm -hmm. The biscuit nice and warm. The chicken feels fresh, though. Feels like they go. just made it. I will say that. You know your boy. He boy brutally texting. honest. Yeah, he brutally mm -hmm. honest. And Lee, somebody texting him. That's what I'm reading. Oh, I ain't gonna text him. No, I'm gonna look again. I got to check. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kidding, y'all. So they look pretty good. So we're gonna try without the wrench and stuff first, and then we can eat them the regular way. Yeah. So I'm gonna try this one. The one that got a little, I don't know why this got a black spot. It look like the little, that you know, blood. that little blood vessel mm -hmm. thingy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Iti takimas. <laughs> it tastes plainer than the regular chicken. I do. Mm -hmm. I feel I taste a little bit of heat. A little, a little tingle. Y'all know how I am with spicy. If you don't, if you're new to the channel, I'm not good with spicy. And this is supposed to be ghost pepper. This ain't no ghost pepper. This is ghost lies. Everybody says that. Everyone that tries to say it's not ghost pepper. They sprinkle a little cayenne and say they call it ghost pepper. Boost the price on. They ain't gonna know. <laughs> and I have a question. Is this the same spicy as the spicy or is it less spicy than the regular spicy chicken? Because I don't get spicy chicken, so I don't know. This tastes less to me. Mm, okay. And it's less flavorful, too, to me. Flavorful? Less, yes, less flavorful. <laughs> flavorful? You said it again. <laughs> flavorful? Oh, oh. That's what I said. What's 30 now? <laughs> Something got in my throat, though. The fries are good, though. You know how you show you the fries drop fresh? And they be like, oh, they they fresh. You don't like when people do that because they be lying most of the time. And I know. <laughs> I know. He know. Because <laughs> he used to be doing the lying. So, not that bad. Nowhere near ghost pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised because I've watched. Have you watched reviews on this? Nope. I watched plenty of reviews and I know that it wasn't going to be. Oh, the biscuit's pretty today. Nice and warm. She's pretty. Let's taste. Mmm. What do you think? Mm. All right. Trying to get them fries down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope. Ain't good, you? Nope. The ones I got the other day. Like, and it was a little dark now. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, this, this one tastes good to me because it's fresher. Like it's more warm. See? With our reviews, <laughs> you get the best of both worlds. It ain't just, I'm, you know, yeah. piggybacking off her tail and she piggybacking on mine. I'm going to say how I feel. She's going to say how she feel. And that is how we rock it. Uh, most of the time, we get, we get kind of close. Yeah, but sometimes we don't. Yep. One thing about Tinley TV, if you come to us for reviews, you're going to get honest reviews, whether we like it or not, yep. whether you pay us or not. We're gonna be honest. That's just how we are. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you need another wing to see? Well, um, I don't, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this mini and see if it's <laughs> just that one. Because that was just kind of time we oh, some kind of mistake. <laughs> Y'all look. Why all mine got oh, blood vessels? You got a drumstick? Yeah, you got none. I got none but flats. I thought they only came in flats. <laughs> That's crazy to me. <laughs> You know I like drumsticks. I do, I know, but at least you give me another drumstick. I thought they were just doing just plats. Oh, they gave me most of that, so I only got one drumstick. Oh, okay. Well, I don't feel too bad. We're going to go ahead and switch it up there. Cool. cool. <laughs> well, I want my drumstick. Easy talking, guys. But being the white that I am, I want him to chase it too. Mm. Mm. 
Five seconds. There you go. No, not this one. Five seconds. Baby, alright. Mm. That was a little bit more spicier than the first one. This one tastes more like. Uh, We're gonna drop this out of bed. What tastes more like? You know, how you get that one piece of chicken. When you're cooking it and you fry it, it'd be dark all on the inside. Yeah. That's what that tastes like. It kind of does, but they gonna be some blood vessel chickens, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm properly cleaning chickens. All of mine got blood vessel. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Mine don't. Let me try it. You can try it out. That's okay. I don't mind. Nah, I, I will agree with you with that 100%. This one is more spicy. It is more spicy. She might have pretty good inside. Mine's or not. <laughs> They just went up a straight try. Yeah, dude. my dog uses, they still small, but. Yeah, they still try. I'm sorry, babe. So, now, I'm gonna try it in the sweet heat in the ranch. Oh, now I'm tired of my, my second one in the, in the ranch. <laughs> so, what would you, there you go. What would you rate it one through five, y'all? We do one through five here. Yeah, I mean, okay. They had a napkin. Oh, okay, the only two they gave was really for one real? napkin per. You want to pause it? I don't know. Let's say you want. Oh, I thought you needed for your nose. Mm -hmm. I okay. Sure I did that before I went. Um, came out. And don't do that. Yeah. Don't do. Yeah. So I went ahead and faced that. Thank you. No okay, so look at the dip. Look good. Look at warm, man. Mm. Your bit is close. Oh. I told you. Oh, y'all go hit that. Sorry, y'all. I told him already. Remember? Oh, okay. Y'all go hit that hissing because we let's hissing when we let that that that, that what you call it loose. Like I told y'all, when you dip stuff in the deep freezer, you make it spicy. I thought you were finna say when you dip stuff in the deep freezer. Baby, dip this in the sweet heat. Your wings gonna taste spicy, like spicy, spicy. Oh. The sweet heat. Now, if you dip it in the sweet heat and you try it, you'll be like, oh, these are spicy. But now that's that sweet heat that's spicy. Let me, um, How is the sweet heat more spicy than gold pepper? Mm -hmm. uh, is it truly gold pepper? Mm -hmm. And what percentage of gold pepper did they put on it? Mm -hmm. They probably said one day people will still, I guess, enjoy it. Negative one percent. <laughs> because the simple fact that these wings taste less than or maybe equal to their spicy. It's supposed to be a difference. You're supposed to clearly see the difference. Okay, regular. Okay, that's spicy. Okay, that's just like a, a ghost pepper. Well, that's with the sweet good. heat. Let me let me see. It's I, I, I want to open another one. Can I just no, 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 no. You mine. Not like this is my stuff. Dip it in there real good. You know what I do is that. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's my crush. That's your dip. That's a good deal. Show me your deal. Uh, I told him. Okay. The same. Don't be sleeping on me. Mm. Mm mm. You get the whole thing in his mouth. Mm. Oh, excuse me. That was an accident. Uh oh. Mm. Spicy? Yes. Yeah. More think? flavor? Yes. So if you order these, you must have a sauce. <laughs> and I don't mean ranch. Now, if you try these with the sweet heat, you're going to be like, oh, that's ghost pepper. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot closer. You'll be like, yeah, it's spicy. But you have to eat it with sweet heat by itself? Absolutely not. With this ranch? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. But this gives it the kick that it needs. It's a, are you getting full? Mm -hmm. It's getting fulfilling. A little something, something. Mmm. A little something, something. You gotta watch out some now. We out in public now. Don't be inside back to my all white video. <laughs> this might come hit you outside of here. In the car? Straight through the window now. Mm. Across the world. Mmm. Oh, you got that too. Hmm. I wish it just does that. Mm -hmm. Do you see it when you edit? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe it's yeah. It just does it. Yeah. 
It just got like darker, but. I don't be noticing it. I definitely will. Mm -hmm. So, what I recommend you guys try it. Mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. I think you should try it for yourself. I definitely would could eat these. I probably wouldn't eat them all with sweetie because it'd be too spicy. But I definitely could eat these. But would I? Is the question. For ten dollars, for like you know the little they're small. Let's check this out. Well, it's really like eight ninety nine. Yeah. The boy ain't recommending it. No, <laughs> no. They're not bad though. Hey, you know what I tasted? What? Uh, it's the second time I tasted it on the second wing. I didn't taste it on yours, but I tasted it on mine. You know how you um buy the chicken and they got they don't taste burnt. But it tastes like a like the crust. Uh, it's hard for me to explain. It's not burnt. It tasted maybe the peak before burnt, or like a piece of flour that been fried with no seasoning on it, and you go to eat it. Mm -hmm. go, I'm not the judge. Yeah, you know, you, 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 I don't know. You try mine. You go a little different than mine. Yeah, what my chicken? Yeah. <laughs> they gave me one from a part of the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, let me try the one. I could eat this again. I probably wouldn't because of the price point. Like, I would rather get bigger pieces of chicken. For that price point? Mm hmm. For it being the price that it is. I'm pretty sure it's this price because of promo reasons. But, like, every look, every last one of my chicken has one of those little spots, if y'all notice. Isn't that funny? They all have this spot on there. Yeah, mine don't. Yeah, that is. Okay, now I think it's depending on chicken wing that you get. Cause they went hot. Mm-mm. I'm gonna try to look at that one. Don't be scared. I'm gonna give them one. Don't got a little spice to it. I know I ain't wasting nothing on it. I think I um that see. one. Is it because oh you want to buy it? Is it the crust? No, if this is bomb is supposed to scare me. Oh, Don't you hate when chicken break off her ear? Like, what's that bone? Listen, I was just so scared not too long ago. Mm hmm I was eating that one piece, and I was like, please, please slow down. Because it's going to be much around here in my throat. So they have certain pieces that are spicier than others, which is different, but... So that means the cold ain't getting on there. It ain't getting blended in right now. Something. My but body. it's not bad. I really expected, like, to not, like, really like these at all. Now, if you're a heat person and you're going for the heat, I don't want you to be disappointed. Mm hmm So. But they don't taste bad to me. Because when you say, what is it supposed to be, ghost pepper? Ghost pepper. And then you got somebody that don't eat hot stuff. Just sit here chowing down on it. But you want to call it ghost pepper? <laughs> Who you lying to? Yeah. Definitely not ghost pepper, but a little, a little heat. Small amount. A little heat, small amount. So one out of five, what would you give it? <clears throat> and I'm going by, I'm calling the ghost pepper wing. Mm -hmm. I'm giving it a two. Okay. Ghost pepper wing, they missed the mark. But overall, I would give this meal like a four. We, I think, ding, 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 ding. We have hit a world record of reviews. We are, I think, the first time on Opposite Ends. Mm hmm. It's not the first time, but. Yeah, but not the first time. But it's a rare occasion. Mm hmm. Most of the time. But. I would definitely tell you to try it. I like it, actually. Mm -hmm. The only reason I wouldn't buy it again is because I can get something that was bigger. Oh. As a what? Good pizza, is good Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, uh, somehow my drink spilled inside of my top, right? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm trying to wipe it down. Before I don't know. It's my feeling. Oh, I want you to try the strawberry biscuit. Dang it, I'm gonna waste. I'm, just, I'm making a mess. <laughs> inside my box, though, but making a mess. Mm. All right, she want me to try the burger. She, she brought one, and it was there for some hours before I got Remember it. when I reviewed it on live? I brought the other one home to him. I, it was alright to me. But he tasted it. He didn't warm it up or nothing. And he was like, it's out. 
Yeah. It's alright. Uh, now that one is kind of small. Now they kind of try to short to it. Well, it looks like the same size as the regular biscuit I had. No, um, they look kind of small to me. Okay. Show it to them, yeah. Yeah, look at that close. Ooh, ooh. So I want you to try it and tell them. And they got you. an M on it. Okay. <laughs> they must have Marshall in They now. did this. Right. It looks smaller than one I had. Smells honestly. sweet. It looks a little different too. It's a different Popeyes. It looks different. It looks smaller. What do you think? Tastes better than when I initially tasted it. I I would think so. But I tell you right now, <laughs> it don't even look like the other one. Not really, because I can see like pockets of uh, strawberry. But what I can tell you right now, <laughs> it's drier than the other one. Oh well, maybe I got mine a little too late because it was dry. Definitely dry. So. Oh, this is definitely dry. I'm glad that was my first experience. And I know what for. But. See, I taste nothing right there. That sounds like it tastes like a little rap. You bunny this lie by uh uh Bojangles. <laughs> get that bow big. Okay. Thank you, Trainy, for putting us on. Yeah, I know to the the bow. Well, actually, uh Princeton P and them told us about it. P and Rayshawn told us. Oh wow. But we, we never yeah, yeah we never got it. We just okay. never got it. I don't, I don't remember. I just yeah, they told us about it. In the car. They said it's a lot. See? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. They went in dirty. You said it went in dirty. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna finish this and we're gonna get into the topic. But this is a nice little breakfast lunch. Just one for you, but we didn't eat breakfast today. Yeah, we're gonna phone. We're gonna phone. We got empty. Um, I had a long conversation. Yeah. So, Good conversation. Good conversation. Oh, I can't break the piece off. Yeah, that sweet heat definitely enhances it. Oh. Makes it better. It makes it not better. It just makes Hot it spicy. <laughs> Make it spicier. In my opinion, better because mine was. But did mine say the same as yours? Because your eye don't taste your drumstick. Mm -hmm. Your drumstick was kind of. Yours was more dirty than mine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm using the word dirty, but more. Uh, oh, what you mean? Yeah. You're getting yeah. the rich white meat of the wing. Come on now. You are. It's just certain places of it is not. Can I put that in there? Oh, hold on. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, that hot. He said, you lie. No running. No way run. You ready to go? It's no does always run, y'all. <sighs> All right. I'm not gonna stop. Should I take this down? Hey, put your head. Okay, so on to the topic of the day by Taisha. So Taisha wanted us to give a little bit of marriage advice. Um, that was something that we started to do in the beginning when we started Tinley TV. And um, it's something that we would like to continue to do. So it was very it was very good to see her DM us and ask us about that because it's something that uh, we talk amongst each other about all the time and something that we would love to share with you guys. Like I said before, if you have any questions or anything you want to ask us or anything you want us to talk about, make sure to send us a DM on WillTDTV on Instagram or email us at WillTDTV at gmail.com and I'll take a look at it and I can put it in a video like this one. So shout out to you, Taisha. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she asked, <laughs> so she asks, how do we deal with marriage and the world? So let me make sure, yeah. How do we do, do with the world and being married? Yes. So, and then when she, I asked her to elaborate so I can make sure I'm answering her questions, but things like temptations, things like going to bed upset. That was one of the things that she said cool. as well. Can Which, I do a clarification? Yes. Because you told me that, and then I'm the one to ask you to give me a little clarification because I was confused. Huh? You go let it be. Yeah, I was just going to answer generally. Lee, Lee needs specific. I need so. Specific. There you go. <laughs> My tongue got so basically, we can answer. We can both answer together. Mm -hmm. We can, you know, we can both kind of chime in. But how do we do deal with the marriage or the world in our marriage? So, first of all, your marriage is between you and your spouse. Mm -hmm. It's not between you, your the world, and your spouse. Even if you come on social media and you share your marriage, uh, 
things that you've gone through, all this kind of stuff, it's still ultimately between you and your spouse, the decision making, and just how you ultimately run your marriage. Um, I would say as far as uh, with temptation, for me, like when I married my husband, I knew my husband was who I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. That was my plan. That was my vow before God. What makes it more real to me is because I did vow this in front of God. It's just not like you're just my boyfriend or we're just dating. Like I made a promise to God and you know that we love God. A yes, it makes a big difference. So it's, I'm your boyfriend or children? Yeah, I don't. Well, I gotta watch out for you. How? You're my husband already. So you can't watch. What about all the other you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my head. Y'all cover your eyes. <laughs> Let's go. But, Let's go. Let's but, okay. Back, okay, so um yeah, when you make that vow and that commitment and that covenant under God, to me that means a lot to me. And you gotta know that that means a lot to your your partner as well. So y'all do know that we love God, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh that's number one and first in our life. That's one of the main things that I know gets us through the hard times because us as men, we need that tool. We need that guidance from God, from the Holy Spirit to lead us in the right direction because it's not easy. It's not easy all the time. Sometimes it is and then sometimes it's just not. So when it comes to temptation, I mean, you're going to see somebody out there that's nice looking or whatever the case may be. It might not even be nice to your eyes. It could be nice to your mind. And that can be a form of, of temptation as well. But you got to know the commitment and the vow that you made, your promise that you made before God to honor, to, you know, honor and trust and do thick and thin and all that kind of stuff to your husband. You got to remember that that's what you promised. So if that's what you're doing, you're getting married, then you need to know that you have to fulfill that promise to God and to yourself. So, what would yeah, you say? Just to, just to piggyback off of that would be um, just you made a, a commitment between God, your wife, and yourself. Mm -hmm. And for you just to um, fall, like if you're strong enough to make this commitment, you should be strong enough to stay you have committed to, to that yes, commitment. You have to Not know just, what you're getting into. Yeah. So, yeah. just don't be like, oh, well, it's... it's, it's it's just like the bird is kind of spooked me. You seen the fly by the car? Yeah. It went by the window on the car. <laughs> um, so it's just knowing your commitment. And then on top of that, if you say you love this woman, why would you do something that's going to potentially hurt her, uh, even break her? Because most men don't, versa. or vice versa. Um, it's, it's, it's like just knowing life and people, things hurt people. And then it's not just, oh, you can sweep it under the rug and it just go away. Like if you say you really love this person, then you need to care for this person. And that is, is unless that's just the type of thing that, you know, y'all agreed upon in y'all marriage. Some, yeah. Okay, that's a whole other thing. We <laughs> have nothing other, to that's do that's with that situation. Thing. I yeah. personally don't think things like that with the open marriage. I don't think yeah. that stuff works like that. I mean, it may for some people. It won't work for me. I'm gonna it say it like that. Let's be for us. It's not gonna work for us. It's not gonna work for us. Ain't work for us. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I just don't. See. Yeah. I. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> never. At least. Yeah. yeah never. I'm too selfish. <laughs> yeah. He's too, too stingy. stingy. Yeah. It's very stingy. Tired of stingy. Yes. <laughs> so. Um, it's just. Um, Loving that person that much to not hurt them in that particular type of way. That's what I'm going to say about temptation. And even if you are tempted, it not necessarily means, oh, I don't love that person, but you're really willing to put your marriage, your your marriage on, the line on the line and your promise to your spouse and to God on the line because somebody looks good yeah. or, you know, they make you feel good at the moment. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. It's yeah. not worth it. And it's not what you vowed to do. It's not. So when you keep God first, you know you got to keep his commandments. And one of them is for you to stay loyal to your husband as long as he's alive. Yes. And wife. Oh, vice versa. Oh, I love being like, what it is. <laughs> what it, I come back. Ooh. You, you should have on me. Bitch. <laughs> These say he'll hurt me. <laughs> I'm about to open now. He said I'll hurt you. Curse, just keep opening. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Who's this nigga? Leaving all the written on the uh, the shower. Like, Who is this nigga? <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. But um, okay, so that's you know, 
we can have a whole segment on this. It yeah. will, will take forever, but that's just basically one of the basic things when you think about temptation. Yeah. It's not that it's going to come, but it's about honoring your commitment to your spouse and to God. So, the next question that she touched on was not going to bed married, I mean, mad. Because the Bible does speak on going to bed with the letting the sun set or let the sun go down when you're mad at each other. You should definitely not do that, but let just me let, start this one off. Let's be a hundred percent transparent. Go ahead. Because oh you know, oh dumb. I didn't have really good leadership because I never uh, it was just my mom, a female raising me, so I never had a man guidance. Mm -hmm. So I used to be like uh, if I'm mad at you, I'm just mad, and then we'll figure it out another time. But not knowing spiritually. Whether it's especially your wife, friend, mother, whoever it is, you're supposed to fix that. Bring it to the altar. Fix it as soon as possible. Don't let it sit there and linger and manifest other things. So that means open for other things to happen. Mm -hmm. So um, not going to bed mad. Um, we had I learned this in uh, counseling with. Uh, mm -hmm. with, with it's called yes. a McDonald's thing. Yeah, we so, took so we before we got married, yeah. we did marriage counseling before we got married, yeah. and then after we got married, yes. of course. So that's important too. You should definitely have counseling before definitely. you say I do. But yes. go ahead. <laughs> so you know, I was tired. Like, well, if I'm mad, or she mad. Okay, we just go to sleep. But you got to think about it. You're not promised tomorrow. You may not wake up. But so not. then you want to call yourself a Christian, like. You gotta leave your altar at the at, at, at the leave your confession altar. Like, yes, you have to just leave everything there. Yeah, like, you have to leave it there. Good, sad or bad, just go ahead and talk it out. Now it may be hard situations or certain things. Like okay, I'm not. Sh I would say small to medium things, like some large, like say you just found out your wife just cheated on you, or your husband just cheated on you, and you just found this out at eight <laughs> o'clock p.m. So it's no really, you can't really fix that in two hours because I gotta go to work in the morning. So I can't say not no things like that, but like when you really look at little arguments that couples have, it really be small and petty unless it's something big like what I just described. Yeah, yeah. Um, some, or like you taking the money going get Most of them, yeah, something. most of them are like that, but it's, it's you know, you never know. Never it depends know. on the situation for the couple. But I would say in, um, in honesty, that's something that we still continue to work on today. I'm not going to act like we got that fixed mm -hmm. because it could be a, a, like the other day, I think Lee felt some type of way when he fell asleep. Remember when I was talking about what was I talking about? Hold on. You See, felt so tired, cause no, I'm, no, I'm you did because you wow. didn't just tell me good night or nothing. Like you just fell asleep when I was talking about. Oh yeah, like the form of self defense and mm -hmm. the forms of self defense. And I was saying what constitutes you be able to defend yourself when you talk about the chair. Oh, you, babe, you did not tell me good night. You I just I, he went to sleep like this. Cause I watched this on my phone and I fell asleep. You know I got drops. So don't do that. I felt like I had tried to blast I, I, somebody. <laughs> Oh, cause I got the drop. Oh boy, I, I felt like you, he felt some type of way. I felt like he felt some type of way. I honestly did because it was not a nice look on his face. I don't know, but it was there was no argument or anything like no, that. But like it was that. just like I didn't agree with what he was saying, and I think he just wanted to be because real, no, quick, real, no, quick, real no, quick, real quick, real <laughs> quick. If you want to find out, just leave a comment somewhere that you want to find out what it was about. But it was it was nothing. Somebody throw a chair at you. You can't pull a gun on nobody. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, it's not somebody throw a chair. Somebody's trying to attack you with the chair. Don't that is a weapon. You, you can, can run away. You don't have no, to. no. We, you already listened. And then the thing about it is he listened to the people say exactly what I was saying. He still wanted to try to disagree. He's just... Anyways, that's another topic for another day. But yeah, but that's something that we, we actively have to work on. Because yeah. even though we're a lot better than we were before. Because we would go to bed made all the time. Like, we would do it all the time and be upset, wake up, still, oh, yeah, I was mad yesterday. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep on the mad face. Like, who has time for that? This is wasting energy. Who really does? Like, we, life is short. Why are you spending those days mad, pouting, walking around? Like, that's something that you have to act actively work on, and you have to do it with purpose. Like, you have to be purposeful with these things, because if you let these little things get to you, it will deteriorate your relationship, and then it'll be that on top of that, and then everything is going to make you... It's gonna make you look at your spouse like, and then that's any, where temptation come in with somebody nice that exactly or mentally Leads nice. How you said, yep. And then it then they being like, nice, and then you being nasty and mean to each other at home, and they being nice to your spouse. Now they're more tempted to yeah. to have conversations or whatever and the case. All gotta get involved. <laughs> <laughs> but like seriously like you know it just leads down a path that and that's what the enemy wants he wants that's us to be separate he wants to separate families he wants to separate uh 
I, I guess that's Union. still that's that's yes, still family that's with family. the children, the families, relationships. He wants to destroy all of it. Yeah. So if you give into that and you go along with it, it starts off little and then it gets bigger and bigger. It's going to ultimately do what the enemy wants it to do, which is destroy destroy your family. And you you just you just can't let that happen, guys. Not if hold on, that's my phone. Sorry, guys. Hold on. But um, you can't let that happen if the, if you are committed to what you said in your vows in front of God then you have to do what you need to do so when they say that marriage takes work that's the work it takes when they say marriage takes work it doesn't mean oh yeah he could cheat he cheat on me every once in a while whatever we got to work it out not mm. that that's not the work it takes <laughs> the work it takes is when those things happen to not go to bed mad to have conversations to communicate to be open with each other if you're feeling this type of way. It's just a lot of things, but I'm not going to go too far in it. We've already been talking about this for a while. It's going to be a 30 plus video. I know, but I really, but really... But good quality yes. video. So I go really ahead and like the video. Again. Hold on, let me... Mm -hmm. Let me shout out again again to Tasha. I hope I'm saying your your name correct. So shout out again to Tasha for the questions. We really appreciate it, and we would love to do more questions and answers like this for you guys if you're interested, because it's what we go through on a daily. And not only does it may it be able to help someone out there, it also brings up conversations for us to have within each other as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. You want to say anything else? No, I just say to the end of this video, you want to see a topic like this, put live in the comment box and we can go live and talk about these same type of comments. Yep, we can go live and do that as well. Know. Yep, So absolutely. if I see live and uh, she will want to go live all the time, I'm like, I don't people don't want to see me. I don't want to go live all the time, there, but I be wanting to go live sometimes and he don't. Like, so put in the comments, Lee, go live. Put that because this. this go live. Go. Yeah, let's do that. So we we hope you enjoyed this video, the Popeyes review, as well yes. as the segment about marriage. Again, if you have any more questions, let us know. And uh, send us an email or a DM on Instagram and let us know what you want to talk about. Yeah. And we'll definitely want to talk about it. Keep the, the conversation going. And your day not going good, guess what? It's going to get better. You got to believe that. You, you gotta, have to believe it. You got to because... You have to believe it and you have to strive you know towards it getting better like you can yeah. let it get the best of you some things will. just look like it's just never gonna stop and never gonna end but trust it it's will. a season for everything it is and it, it will it really will. you just have to keep pressing yeah. you just have to so that is it and that's all for this video that don't forget to like comment subscribe love you guys peace, peace.